Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's mini tutorial session here on Procreate, I want to talk about the color harmony and how we can actually colorize a simple illustration such as this one with a minimal color palette. So if you're just starting to actually color your illustrations and you want to learn a few shortcuts and things that you can do on Procreate 5, that's why the color harmony is a really good and helpful tool in order to help you to colorize things with a minimal color palette. And why do I keep saying minimal color palette? It's because for this video, for today's video, we're going to see how we can actually learn uh, or use the complementary color section here on the color harmony, which only gives you a primary color that you select and the opposite or the complementary version of that color. So basically whatever color that we select, we get the complementary version right here. And I'm going to show you how we can expand on those two colors. So let's just say that what we want to create something that kind of looks like a salmon color here with an opposite complementary color, which is a lighter blue. So I'm going to choose that color and we're going to also use the power of the reference layer in order to be able to fill this uh, shape uh, very quickly with color. However, our first step here will be to create a new layer because first we're going to set up our, our color palette for this illustration. So for that, we're just going to choose a studio pen and I'm going to lower the brush size here and we're going to make or draw a circle here on the canvas and we're going to fill it with a color. Now we're just going to duplicate this layer. We're going to bring it to the side and we're going to choose the complementary color right here, which is this lighter blue. And we're going to drop it on our second circle. Now we're going to merge the circles and we're going to use a selection mode of a rectangle. And right here, we're going to choose somewhere about a third of our circles right here. And we're gonna go into the adjustments uh, menu and choose the hue, saturation, and brightness. And basically, we're going to darken uh, the bottom here and probably saturate a little bit more around 55 to 65. Let me just see, probably 65. And that should do it. So now we have our base color that we've uh, selected and also a darker shade. So now we're gonna go back into the selection modes, make another selection, and we're gonna go back into hue saturation. And now we're going to increase the brightness here and probably the saturation once again. And we're gonna make the lighter version on our palette, which is right here. So now we have only two colors but we have difference in tones from these two colors. Therefore, we've, we are expanding our color palette with a variation of tones, but still keeping a minimal color palette. So the next step now is to select our outline layer and make sure that reference layer is turned on because we do wanna use the color dragging feature with the reference layer. And now we are ready to put color onto our illustration. So now I'm just gonna create a new layer use the uh, color dropper. I'm gonna grab our first color and just drop it onto the background. Now we're gonna make another layer, use the color dropper once again, select a new color, and that's going to be all of the skin areas of our character. I'm just gonna drop that all in. Once again, we are colorizing this with a minimal, minimal color palette, meaning that we're not gonna go too crazy adding now greens or like yellows because we've already defined that our color is actually working with the complementary color section of the color harmony. So now that we have that going, I'm going to once again create a new layer and use the color dropper and that's going to be the color of the hair actually as well as the color of the eyes of her character. All right. So now, once again, new layer, color dropper onto the darker shade, and we are going to paint what could be the very dark areas or shadows in this illustration, as well as, once again, color drop, and we're going to um, create a new layer and paint the shirt of this character. So getting close, we're going to create a new layer and once again, color drag or color drop and color drag onto the computer. And finally, one more layer, color drop 
onto probably the base layer or actually it's going to be the darkest one and drop it onto the table. So the last thing here to do is to just draw some shadows. And now that we've created everything with separate layers, it's going to be very easy for us to actually create new layers, set them up as clipping masks, make sure we are still in the studio pan, just increase the size here a little bit, and we can even uh, set the layers as multiply or overlay. Okay, once again, it's going to be overlay. All right, so now just turning off our color palette and here's our illustration with a minimal color palette using the complementary mode in the color harmony section on Procreate. So once again, I did want to add more colors to this. I really just wanted to play with the two base colors and what the variance of those two base colors could be in terms of going lighter or darker from that middle section of color which once again, I'll just show you, it's located in our uh, little creation here, a little color palette creation, where we've taken the base color and we've darkened it as well as brightened at the very top in order to create all these different shadings. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it did, a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to, sub to hit the subscribe button for more news, tips and tricks, reviews and speed paint videos. And that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.